Hey everyone, the Axe is here, and today we are spotlighting Megacon. This is our first vlog on the channel, so we're gonna get right into it. So if you like my content and you wanna see everything beyond my future reaction and commentary videos, click on that subscribe button down below and help grow the channel. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just uh, go ahead and check me out. Also, we're expanding our social media. So if you want to see me on Instagram and all my, pri my private life, check me out. Just FYI, Megacon opened early at around 10 a.m. Okay, everyone. So I am here at Megacon 2023. We just got in. We're about to get to our first exhibit as soon as possible. Make sure you got a picture in front of one of the backgrounds in the lobby. I chose the Mario themed one. As, as you know, Megacon has been growing a lot the last couple of years. There's been a lot of celebrities coming, and right now I am in a room to see William Shatner. Are you ready to hear the kingdom and you're here to save God? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome William Shatner. Thank you. Thank you. One of the things that was really cool about this panel was the fact that William Shatner was still going out looking for adventure. Listen to what he was planning next. One of the things I this year is I'm planning a, a, a Star Trek trek into the Antarctic. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that's the correct word, isn't it? I, I think they, they fall, the Navy just blanches and falls dead in the face. It's a nice boat. Oh, don't say boat! <laughs> it's a ship. So, it's a cruise ship that goes from the, uh, the southern point of South America, uh, there's a name for it. Does anybody remember the name for it? Like Luigi or something? The town. <laughs> and they sail from there across uh, the wildest uh, waters on Earth that uh, I don't remember how many miles is it, but it's hundreds of miles across to the continent of Antarctica, which we've just found out is part of the New Zealand, New Zealandia as a new continent we've just discovered, along with a new planet we're discovering out there. So, so this thing, this cruise ship, which leaves Christmas week, goes to the Antarctic. I'll be aboard. Um, uh, several other people uh, who are entertainers will be aboard. And it's kind of expensive, but a week, 10 days really, in the Antarctic, and all of us looking and discussing and seeing things. So that the spirit of adventure, and I, I'm fascinated by the Antarctic. So I, over the years, I've kind of thought about it and came across Shackleton's name sound familiar to anyone? Uh, well, I was with an acquaintance of mine and unfortunately we had to leave a little early because the next big one was Paul Bettany, as you can see from how long that line was. Well, I began my day at 4 a.m. in the New York and it was 32 degrees. Uh, it was very nice to be. Over the years, people knew Paul Bettany throughout his other work like Knight's Tale and Inkheart, but everyone wanted to know more about his character Vision in the MCU. Probably a robot or an android with a kind of soul, even with a smooth like mechanical movement, how did you capture his humanity? Uh, um, I kind of, my plan was that he sort of, well anyone, he's sort of an omnipotent ingenue. So, in the, in the uh, uh, you know, when he's born. And, um, and then as he gets more, more and more sophisticated with the amount of data that he's receiving, he becomes uh, more and more human. I mean, I guess when you're doing robots or artificial people or whatever it is, I, I guess the two stories really are Pinocchio and, and Frankenstein. You know, they're the two, you know, I'm a real boy now, or who made me and what for, really, I suppose, the, the um, story. So we, we were definitely in the Pinocchio uh, camp, and, and, and that's a really fun arc uh, to play. And how did I make him human? I am one. <laughs> and 
washed and um, they painted purple and they put me in a robot suit. And, and so I figured that stuff's taken care of and I could just get on with the human stuff. because I just, We just got off from lunch and that Paul Bettany experience was absolutely amazing. He's very quiet, very reserved, and right now I'm over in the artist alleyway. The artist alleyway is a perfect opportunity to meet all your favorite artists who illustrated your favorite comics. And don't forget to get an autograph from your favorite celebrity. This crowd was so huge I was not able to get a photo with them. But I will say this, there were a lot of really cool cosplayers around the area. A little down further, you'll notice autographed memorabilia from famous movies such as Star Wars, Titanic, and James Bond. I especially love the Titanic one that was autographed by Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. And the James Bond was autographed by all the actors. Back here at the Chapman Hall, and I am waiting to see Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor, Anakin Skywalker, and Obi-Wan Kenobi themselves. This is going to be huge. Unfortunately, many people that were ahead of us had already made previous reservations with the VIP, so those that were trying to fill in other seats were forced to leave. Yet despite all this though, it was still an absolutely amazing experience. So me and my friend actually went out and got to go take a look at these comics that were out, plus more movie memorabilia that has been leaked out. This time I found Wonder Woman, there was a complete Batman one, and let me tell you, I am a huge Batman fan, so that was really cool to see. And Vader. And look, there's Spock. And I made my way over to these collection of DVDs. And if you look very closely, some of these have a rating of the U, or 15, 12, 15, and 18 and up. And what was so, the only thing I can think of is that these were imports. They were probably either from England or from another country, or they could be American, I'm not sure. Also, there were tumblers and flasks made, being made available with branded things from Batman, Zelda, Doctor Who, and Game of Thrones. If you want to pay $30 for them. And that's a wrap on MegaCon 2024. And while it was overcrowded and I didn't get to see as much of the panels, I still had a really amazing time. I mean, I mean, if you like this kind of stuff, if you like anime, you like comic books, if you like superheroes, and just anything movies in general, this is really the place to go. This thing has been growing so much the past few years, it could actually rival San Diego Comic Con. I will conclude by only saying this. If you can't get a celebrity autograph, you can either get a picture with a cosplayer, you could take a picture in front of the biggest Gundam statue, or you can save $70, get yourself a sword.